when and why. So when I say what, when and why, I want to describe why we are celebrating this day. So first question, what? What is World Creativity and Innovation? Basically, it is a global UN day. It was discussed and it was actually because we wanted to raise awareness about the importance of creativity and innovation in today's generation. That is the 21st century. And when? When means when did we start celebrating this day? We started it from April 21st, 2008 with the support of 80 countries across the world. Now why? Why? Because as I pointed this out, UNDP and UNESCO in their reports have told that creative thinking, creative multidisciplinary thinking is the true wealth of nations. We need this thinking so that we make our life and life of our future generations sustainable. Right? Now we'll jump into what we are going to discuss today. First of all, we'll see the scenario of rural women in India. Change the side. Yeah. Oh, these are basically the global goals. I have just mentioned these in case you want to know. I said no. Innovation is important to advance the global goals. The global goals I was talking about are these 17 goals. No hunger, zero hunger, no poverty, good health and well-being. And these are the global goals we are talking about. We need these goals in order to ensure that we have a sustainable future and present. Next. Yeah, so the scenario of women in rural India. Rural India, we understand, right? Villages, two tire towns. So what is the scenario? Like we here are very healthy, happy, sitting in an air-conditioned rooms, right? But there are women in India who are suffering from a lot of problems. Those problems I have highlighted here, rather than say the study conducted has highlighted, that there is a prevalence of iodine deficiency. Do you know what happens when there is a deficiency of iodine in the body? We can face a lot of problems including breast cancer and other breast-related diseases along with pregnancy complications. It is very difficult to face life with such problems in such areas where there is lack of access to proper hospital facilities. Other than that, the study also observed that there is a prevalence of iron deficiency. And iron deficiency leads to fatigue, less concentration, and I have also mentioned nutritional disorders. Such things are very dangerous. Anemia, you, you probably would have heard about anemia, did you? It's a very difficult and dangerous to tackle and it is very heart-wrenching that women are going through these things. Now, what innovation do? Let's please change this way. Look at these women. These are basically pictures of the women in the village the study was conducted. Do you see a common quality? Everybody is adorning a very huge bindi. We put bindi, right? It is a part of our culture. Almost everyone does. So that was the case in that village. Then our researchers actually came up with, I would say this, it is a brilliant idea. Please change this one. This is the life-saving dot. It is a bindi coated with iodine. Now, we can put that bindi. It is a part of our culture. We do that every day. Now, if we put it, we can actually get 150 to 200 micrograms of iodine, which is the required content for a woman for a day. And the good news is, this dot is only 10 rupees for 30 rupees. Now, it is budget-friendly. That is what we want, right? This is the magic of innovation, right? Let's see another example. Please change this slide. Yeah, now you can see a woman. This is also from the study of the same village. She is cooking. Nothing new. She is using a spatula. We use it, right? In our homes, we use spatula and cook the food. Now, I have pointed about iron deficiency. See what our researchers have done. Please change this slide. This is a spatula called the lucky iron fish. You have to do nothing. Before putting all your vegetables, all your anything, you boil some water or some oil, something like that. Just use this spatula, stir it. That's it. It would diffuse and hence your food would be infused with a lot of iron fat. You don't need to eat those healthy vegetables, costly vegetables which have iron. This will do that work for you. So this is an innovation which is small. We can involve it very easily in our culture, but again it makes a huge difference. So we, in this way, the researchers have addressed the deficiencies. Now we'll see like other example. This is a very common scenario in rural India. Women carrying water. But do you know this thing? Now we talked about iodine deficiency, iron deficiency. Now look at this scenario. We are providing them with iodine. We are providing them with iron. Yet they have to do all of these things. So what if we reduce this burden of them? So 
this case was not an Indian case. This innovation I'm talking about actually took place in Africa. That's the reason I mentioned few African women. They are also going through the same phase, you know, middle income countries. We have that problem. So what innovation has done? These are called hippo rollers. So basically, the cylinder they were carrying, people got idea that why don't we roll them? So along with this stack, we can happily roll them and they are called hippo rollers because obviously the size of what the can is huge. So this will help us to roll our water on the rough terrains and hence make water collection easy. Next slide please. Yeah. Now again coming back to the Indian scenario. Look at this. This is a typical so village kitchen. And here I have actually mentioned newspaper cuttings which show that how cooking in such unventilated kitchen can give rise to a lot of respiratory issues. Respiratory issues are again take one chair and sit. Our lungs uh -huh. are very important. We have to take care of them. And not smoking does everything. Such such kitchen environment also creates a lot of problems. So these are actually IIT publications which pointed out this. Now here Please comes the English. Please change this. This is a bag called the wonder bag. Now what is a wonder bag? Whenever you cook some food, you have to put that food in the kitchen. You're cooking it and you're cooking it for a very long time. Like cooking rice. How much time does it take? Don't say pressure cookers. Don't think like pressure cookers. Think about the kitchen which I showed you before. It is going to take a lot of time. And imagine sitting in such unventilated, not properly hygienic kitchen for such a long time and it is affecting your lungs. So this is the solution. What do you have to do? You have to first boil your food and along with that saucepan, you put that food in this bag called butter bag. What it, what it does? What it does is it slow cooks the food. This means that you don't need to be in the kitchen. You brought your food to boil and that's it. No stove, no gas, no electricity. This is going to cook your food for 8 hours straight and then you can serve it hot. So this is the magic of the bag. So in this way, we can see that how simple yet significant innovations and creativity are bringing drastic life in the future and the present of rural women in India. So today we have to take the opportunity to acknowledge these things and also understand is research is not always about big laboratories and big research facilities. It is about these simple things which can help and can be imbibed into our culture and bring a very big difference in our lives. Thank you. Very good.